Okay, so continuing because there's a lot of things. So again, Surah 35 verse 40, nothing. I put another one. I don't know. I just kind of went in the order that you gave me. Uh, 41, 10. He placed there in the earth firm mountains from above, uh, from above it, and he blessed it and measured there in its substance in four days equal for all those who ask. Nothing about flat earths. Nothing. Oh, and before you go to the days issue, it's I am. Okay, I am means time spans. Okay, kind of like saying in in the I am of my grandfather or in the days or the times of my father. It's not day, 24 hour periods before you will attack me on that. So just so we get, you know, uh, things uh, straight. So all this long list of things and just kind of shows your ignorance of the Quran. I'm sorry, I mean, you know, I'm not going to make fun of you. Um, as you made fun of me, but the issue of the <laughs> it's not gonna get you anywhere. The issue of this is fun, this is you know, genius, genius. I had a talk with my mom. Wow, you had a talk with your mom, and she laughed at the issue of genius too. And therefore, this gives it the most scientific uh, credibility in the world. And you know, with all due respect to your mom, right? So, I mean, you have to get to some critical thinking, right? You have to get to some proofs and understanding and some obvious research because it shows here from these lists of things you're giving me that I mean the first four verses had not even relevant that you don't even, you didn't even look at them so if you go to court with these kind of proofs man the left the judge will laugh at you big time um, so I mean I don't know as as for the challenge they told me uh, about the earth being round uh, again, you have to, if you don't understand the language and the usage of it, you know you have to, oh don't give me the egg. Well, actually, you know the the uh, the, the the shape of the Earth has the, the the Earth is a bit compressed towards the uh, equator, right? It's it's not fully round or fully spherical. It is a sphere, but it's 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 very close to the shape of an egg. Um, the issue of the ha. The word daha, while out of the bad, the daha, and tahaha, the word tahaha, sorry, uh, also, um, the commentators of the Arabic language said it's, it says if you're throwing a, a round surface, like a ball, I can give you examples from the Arabic language for, you know, other, you know, usages of the Arabs, and you'll say, but look, it says flat, it says flat, you know, I mean, that's, that's right. You know, um, I can quote you, for example, what Ibn Taymiyyah said when he was debating the philosophers. And he said, uh, based on um, the Noble Quran, uh, verse 33, uh, Surah 21, Allah SWT says, created night and day, and the sun and the moon, they all float in each in a falak. And he says, the celestial bodies are round. It is the statement of the astronomers, the mathematicians. It is likewise the statement of all the Muslim scholars, as Abu Hassan bin al-Manadi, Abu Muhammad ibn Hamz, uh, Abu al-Faraj ibn Jawzi, and others have quoted that the Muslims call it an agreement that the celestial bodies, the earth, sun, moon, uh, are round. Falak means falak, like spinning of a wheel, something round, something that opens, something that is... So, I mean, that's just, you know, the, the opinion of the Muslim scholars. They also believe that part of the earth was covered in water, so I'm not saying that it's perfect. I'm just talking about the shape, right? So, um, I guess this is it. Critical thinking again. Uh, we talked about heavens versus the sky. I, I'm gonna post. I posted the link of the dictionary in my first video. You called the hadith ridiculous. Uh, you you ridiculed. You talked about magic. All you brought to us is laugh, laughery, uh, laughing and mockery. Uh, you 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 insulted kind of my intelligence. Uh, you said that you know that's the only intelligent kind of thing that you said was the beginning thing that I said in my video. Uh, we talked about the earth flat, the pragmatics of it. We talked about the obvious errors and the list of verses that you misquoted and you don't know what they're talking about because you probably pulled them off from some website. Um, and again, I don't know. I, I mean, I'm just boggled that you're calling to critical thinking and you yourself don't practice it. Uh, to me, that's just that. You know, it's just a waste of time. So, peace.